Hi friends, today we're going to do a restorative practice. You will need a bolster, a blanket, and two blocks. So get something comfy on and join me on your mat. Okay, so with the blanket, we're gonna use that at the very end. Um, so you'll wanna make sure that it is about this size and then you just roll it long ways. Okay, and then you can just place that to the side. Uh, we won't need that for a little bit. And then you're going to take your bolster uh, first set up your blocks on the highest side of the front of your mat and place your bolster right on top. So it makes like a little table and this table we're going to put our legs on. So you're going to lift one leg and then the other, allow your calves to be supported by the bolster and then lie your back on the mat. So really just set up here so you're completely comfortable and then allow your shoulders to relax away from the ears and just rest in this first position. Start to notice the breath here. See if you can make the breath smooth and deep, continuous, so that the inhalations and exhalations move effortlessly into one another. Your palms can be facing up, arms completely relaxed. Let's take 10 more deep breaths here. Feel the cool air coming in through the nose, and the warm air leaving the body. See what parts of your body are on the ground. And also take note of all the parts of your body that are not on the ground right now or not under any support. Just a few more deep breaths. gently draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug, wrapping your arms around the shins, maybe rocking a little side to side. And you'll come into one side just to gently come up back to that seated position. So we're going to take this table apart now. And from here, you can move the blocks out to the side and sit to the long edge of your mat. So from here, um, you just want the bolster right in the center of your legs and you're just going to hinge forward from the waist. You can keep the feet relaxed and take your left cheek down to the bolster. Now, if the bolster is too far away there, you can always take a block or two underneath the bolster and then you can lie, but take your left cheek to the bolster. You can even bring the block lower if that's too high, but you still need a little more support. You can relax through the feet, even let those inner thighs kind of turn inward, wherever they kind of want to be in this moment. Take a few more deep breaths with the head. Turn to the right. And then gently lift your head up and turn your head to the left so your right cheek is now on the pillow. Deepen your breath again. Feel that continuous breath. 
Each breath in is nourishing you. And each breath out is letting go. Letting go what you no longer need. A few more big breaths here on this side. Try to completely relax here. Okay, move slowly. You're going to start to walk yourself back up, right? And we're going to now take the bolster back to the front of the mat, and we're going to take a child's pose with your knees around the bolster. So just take your knees wide, maybe even as wide as your mat, just depends on what you need today. That bolster is in between your legs, and you're going to lie the belly down, okay? So if this is, again, too much, you can take that... Um, you can take the block underneath the bolster here on that level or even higher. Uh, might work for you. So just your right cheek is on the bolster. You'll just take a few deep breaths here. your arms relax. They can be overhead or straight out to the side, whatever's most comfortable. Okay, let's take the head now to the right. So left cheek down on the mat. Breathe intentionally here with awareness. Let that life force get into all the nooks and crannies. Okay, and we'll just start to bring your head back to center. Now we're gonna stay on this bolster, um, but we're gonna take it into half frog. So take your left knee or keep your left knee up and then extend your right leg straight back. Now again, your bolster's under the belly, your head is supported by the bolster, and turn your head uh, towards your left knee. And again, if this is too much, take a, a um, block underneath the bolster, on the appropriate size. Bring awareness back to the breath if your mind wandered. And then turn your head, left cheek down. Relax through all the muscles in the neck. Good, come back through center and gently press yourself up just to switch sides, right knee steps forward. You're going to take that right knee outside the bolster, slide your left leg long, lie your belly on the bolster, and drop your left cheek to the mat. And lift the head up, gently turn it to the left, right cheek down. Bring yourself back to the breath. Each breath in is nourishing, each breath out is cleansing. No pause between the breath. And come back through center. Good, now you're gonna press yourself up and we're gonna take this into a bridge pose. So you're gonna take your bolster. Now we're going to take it, lie it. Um, 
horizontally across your mat. And then you're going to per, um, lift your hips up and scoot your hips up on the bolster. So your sacrum's on the bolster, your feet are on the floor. It might be easier to lie down first, lift your hips up, and place the bolster under your hips. So it's a little mini inversion here. Just getting some blood flow towards the heart. Maybe even it helps to take your hands to your abdomen and breathe into your hands. Sometimes that helps me stay present. Good. Now you're welcome to stay here if you want a little bit um, different pose. You're gonna move the bolster down towards your feet. Take a Supta Baddha, Konasana, soles of the feet on the bolster. Soles of the feet together on the bolster. And then knees apart. And stretching out the inner thighs a bit as you relax here. But if your knees are apart now, draw your knees back together. And then push that bolster away and gently rock up to a seated position. From here, you're going to take a spinal twist. So we'll take the bolster vertically on the mat. And you're going to take your hips to one side. So I'm taking my left hip towards the bolster. Now you can stack the knees. It's a little more intense. Um, or you can keep the knees kind of apart. And then you're going to turn your torso towards the bolster and lie your chest down. Now, the more intense um, stretch here would be right cheek down, looking away from your knees. Um, if you want less intense, take your left cheek down. Again, you can have a, a block here if you need to bring this bolster up higher so you don't have to go down as far. You're up to you there. Just find the place that your body wants to hold and breathe there. Just a few more big breaths. And gently walk yourself back upright. Take your knees up towards center and we're just gonna switch sides. So now your hips, your right hip is towards the bolster. You're gonna square one hand on either side of the bolster as you square your torso towards the bolster and lie the body down. Lie the upper body down. Again, a left cheek on the mat would be a more intense than right cheek, so you choose what you need today. And then find the breath. Find that smooth, continuous, even breath. All right, gently press into the floor. Lift back up and come through center. Now our last pose here, we're going to utilize this blanket. So again, make sure it's um, a longer uh, roll. And you're gonna want to, we're gonna take Supta Baddha, so soles of the feet together, you're gonna take this blanket around your ankles. So in front of the ankles and then tuck them under. So it's really, really supportive, supported. You wanna have your bolster right up against your sacrum and then you're gonna lie down on your bolster. Now it might even feel good if you have your blocks nearby to put one block on either side of your body and rest your forearms down. 
right? It's um, that's an option. You can also have your arms out to the side, getting a nice chest opener here. You have several options for where you want to put your hands. You choose. It might even feel good to have them up overhead. And a nice little release there. Just find what feels best for you. And then soften through all the muscles of the face. The jaw. Relax. The forehead relaxes. The mind relaxes. Smooth, deep, even, continuous breath. you'd like, you can stay here even longer. If you're ready to come out, gently draw your knees together. Remember you're on a bolster. Make your way to a comfortable seat. Thank you for joining me today for this practice. I hope it is helpful to you. Namaste.